One of Korea's biggest gaming successes of 2023 is finally getting a cross-platform global release on PC, Android, and iOS in early 2024. Night Crows is a free-to-play MMORPG built in Unreal Engine 5 and set in 13th century Europe. Whether you take up the sword, the bow, or sorcery, join hundreds of other players in huge-scale battles both on the ground and high up in the sky. Here's everything you need to know about Night Crows. Set in the aftermath of the Fourth Crusade of 1204, Europe's attempt to expand its influence to other continents didn't go as planned, so they've taken the fight back home. Nestled between France and Italy, the fictional principality of New Trieste was born out of rebellion within the King's Knights Templar and now seeks to unify all of Europe. And by unify, we mean hit with swords, arrows, and magic. You play as one of the titular Night Crows, a guild of warriors made up of knights, royalty, and religious figures who've banded together to fight against threats to the land. And threats there are aplenty as the Night Crows square up against all manner of man, beast, and colossal monster. As part of the Night Crows Guild, you can take up one of four classes. Each class offers two advancement options that will change how you approach gameplay and, as you progress, you can upgrade to new advancement levels to improve your specialization. If you're looking to hit stuff so hard it'll think twice about getting back up again, then the Warrior class will give you the stopping power you need, while also providing the HP required to tank damage. As a warrior, you can choose either to wield a two-handed sword so gargantuan it'll make Cloud Strife look up from his breakfast, or you can take up the spear. The spear allows you to impale from a distance, but can also draw foes closer with a powerful spinning vortex. Perhaps you like a little more defense in your playstyle. If so, then the Swordsman's Sword and Shield Advancement could be for you. This option gives players with a shield to protect themselves and their allies. But if your strategy is more about chaos and aggression, you can use the Twin Sword to take the fight to the enemy with twice the sword-wielding Gusto dealing exceptionally high damage. If you prefer to take on your enemies from afar, then the Hunter class provides the longest attack range in the game with the bow. An archer can be critical to a team as they offer overwatch on the battlefield while also chipping health away from enemies. Hunters can also take up the dagger, however, which can allow you to both silence an enemy, restricting their use of special moves, and bind them, immobilizing your foe and reducing their attribute score. Lastly, there's the Witch class, which, as the name suggests, deals mostly in magic. The Witch class can use either a wand or a staff, each offering different battlefield advantages. The staff inflicts large amounts of damage to multiple enemies from a distance, while the wand can be used for healing spells to support your party. The two best ways to level up quickly so you can get into bigger and better battles are by questing and challenging enemies. Quests can be auto-completed by your character, so are a convenient way to level up when you're just starting. If you want to take more direct control and challenge enemies, you can engage directly with the controls to take down enemies manually. Be careful, however, as some enemies can be particularly tough and may require help, even if you're a higher level player. Night Crows renders a realistic version of 13th century Europe in Unreal Engine 5, and the world you can explore is vast and varied. Not to worry, because shortly into your game you'll unlock mounts. Once you have them, you'll be able to travel around the map much more easily. Not only that, but you can enhance your character's abilities because equipping a mount provides additional attributes, such as better attack speed or higher defense. Perhaps most important, however, is deciding which of the massive selection of mounts you'll want to ride. Classic Horse? Humble donkey? Or would a skull-faced bison-looking thing pique your interest? But your noble steed isn't the only mode of transportation. You might have spotted the strange floating platforms suspended by air balloons scattered throughout the vast landscape. These are connected to one of the most interesting features of Night Crows, gliding. In this world, medieval history books apparently left out some of the more awesome facts, like how Europe had mastered hover and glide technology 700 years before the Wright brothers thought to add an engine. Take to the skies with your allies both for travel and for combat. These gliders aren't restricted by petty obstacles like gravity or momentum. While you're gliding, you can hover with the hover flight function, dash horizontally with flight rush, and if you spot an enemy, you can target that enemy and get a devastating hit with dive attack. Not all gliders are alike, however. Different gliders have different features based on their design and grade, so make sure you pick a glider that suits your playstyle. Night Crows is an MMORPG, so to get the best experience, you'll want to team up with a group to take on larger battles, be they enormous monsters that threaten the land or worthy challengers in PvP. When playing Night Crows, you can expect to be on maps featuring as many as 1,000 players at a time. 
Mad Engine, the developers of the game, have been able to utilize inter-server technology to enable players on three separate servers to cross swords with one another. That means a relatively small skirmish could escalate into a huge battle with hundreds of opponents. Not only that, but the battles aren't restricted to the land as gliders and floating platforms offer a whole new dimension to combat. Expect all of medieval Europe to become one colossal battlefield. Once you've upgraded your character to level 40, you can move to the Battlefront. Battlefront takes Nightcrows from multiple servers to provide the largest, toughest battles in the game, with battlefields taking up the majority of the map. It'll push your glider utility and combat prowess to the limit, but the rewards for Battlefront victories are more valuable and diverse compared to regular battles. Nightcrows also includes a way for fans to support their favorite content creators with the streamer support system. It's a system to help streamers earn rewards for playing Nightcrows and make it easier for supporters to contribute to their favorite creators. In-game purchases can be converted into seeds, which are then distributed to streamers based on their engagement. If you want to support your favorite streamer and earn something for yourself, sign up for the streamer support system now to receive a free Black Wings of Freedom glider. Nightcrows will be released for PC, Android, and iOS in early 2024. It's free to play and pre-registration is already open on the official website. Pre-register now for a bounty of additional rewards like the Silver Wolf or Black Wings Glider. That's everything to know about Nightcrows. For more Nightcrows info and other gaming content, be sure to keep GameSpot in your sights as you soar overhead in your fancy customized glider.